and then I'll look at some of my mates who, you know, already have these beautiful features, you know, they look super good. And I'll just wonder and ask myself, why are my jeans acting up? Why can't they just cooperate? Why do I have to be so... Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Stephanie and today we're talking about how to build your confidence and be a boss babe or boss guy. The reason why I'm sharing this is because regardless of your age or gender, we all struggle with this sometimes. And sometimes being a teenager or being in your 20s, it is just so difficult and so hard to not compare yourself to others and feel like you're not enough. Where I am right now, I feel so confident and today I'm going to be sharing with you some tips that have helped me tremendously in my own journey to become confident and I'm sure this is going to make a great impact in your life. So without further ado, let's just get right into it. First tip I'll be sharing with you is to find good in your imperfections. There are a few things I don't like about my body but something you should know is everyone has that one thing or more that they like or admire about the other person. Things I used to hate, I started to love and imperfections are honestly beautiful and sometimes your imperfections are someone else's goal of what they want to look like i am a very hairy person and i remember growing up i almost had like a uni brow because my brows were just so full and i did not know how to manage all of these things and then i would look at some of my mates who you know already had these beautiful features you know they look super good and I'll just wonder and ask myself, why are my jeans acting up? Why can't they just cooperate? Why do I have to be so airy? But now, look at it today. Almost everybody is going around with colored brows and fake brows, of course. And now I just look at myself. I am blessed, richly blessed with all of this. I know people who tell me, oh my God, if I had brows like yours, I would never draw. And that is something I don't even do. I don't know how to draw my brows to save my life. But this is it. I just carve them, you know, give them a nice shape. And I go out. I know some people who wake up in the morning and the first thing they do is draw their brows. Like, I'm not even kidding. This is actually a thing in the women community so your imperfections are someone else's goal they want to have what you have so find good in your imperfections and love yourself just the way you are my next point is to unfollow social media influencers that live a perfect life i will not be calling names but we all know one or two people who act like everything is perfect on social media and set a very high standard for our lives and because we see them living quote and quote a perfect life we begin to compare ourselves to them we begin to compare our bodies this can leave a negative impact on your self-image i'm so glad that this has stuck with me but since i got on instagram i have been very careful who I follow and I've never followed celebrities or I would say I've never followed like social media influencers that act like everything is perfect. On the path to becoming more confident, this can be an obstacle in your life. So please unfollow, even unsubscribe YouTubers. I have had to follow some YouTubers who I like but they were just doing things that began to mess with my mental health and I just knew I had to unfollow and unsubscribe from those people. So if you have someone who does things or posts things that after you watch or see, you begin to feel some kind of way, I think it is time to unfollow those people. Understand that not everything will come to you. You have to come to some of these opportunities. Know that you should not always wait for things to come to you. Sometimes you have to be the one to take the first step to go for what you want. Because the thing is, if you really want something, you have to get off your butt and pursue it it's so important to have the mindset that you can actually get what you want it is all in your hands all you have to do is go for what you truly desire and want being a confident person gives you the motivation to go for what you want and acquire it no one gives a about you yes just know that everyone is too worried about themselves to be worried about you sometimes you go to a place where there are a lot of people let's say a classroom or a party and then you're about to go in but then you're overthinking and you're worrying oh my god how would they look at me would they judge me is my outfit okay do i have my makeup on perfectly is my hair arranged in a good way and you're just worrying so much about how people will look at you how people will perceive you if they will judge you and the truth is sometimes people don't even notice you you are sometimes too self-aware that we begin to overthink things that are not even necessary honestly people are just so busy doing their own thing and focusing on whatever they are doing that they don't even care what you do or what you look like they don't even care about you so please chill embarrass yourself often you get used to it just do what you love do what you like and stop worrying about being so perfect all the time i am someone who really loves to dance and i love watching people dance i have the best and the most amazing dance skill but it is all in my head i cannot dance properly for five minutes to save myself this doesn't stop me from doing what i love 
Follow me on Instagram, you've probably seen me doing something crazy, one crazy dance step. And a lot of times, people just laugh at me and tell me, oh, step, this is crazy, you don't know how to dance. And I know, yes, I told them, yeah, I know, but this is what I love doing and I just wish I could do it better. And we just laugh about it. And the truth is, I really don't care. I'm just living my life. I'm just having fun and do what I enjoy doing. I've done it so much now that I don't even, like, I'm so comfortable. I'm, I don't bother. I just do my thing and I post it on there. I'm just so comfortable showing my whack dancing skill. So just be okay with embarrassing yourself sometimes. I know it's easier said than done, but over time, you kind of just get used to it. Find your people. A lot of times, we try to fit into a certain mold or group of people. We try to fit into a certain mode or group we change ourselves and it doesn't work out like if you're trying to be popular and the very popular boys or girls do not like you that really tells on your confidence and makes you feel like there's something wrong with you and it makes you feel like you're not enough like you've done something wrong but when you truly express yourself and finally appreciate who you are and let people see that that just comes naturally and your confidence level just goes way up because you're no longer trying to fit into a mold. Don't self-sabotage yourself with your words. Society has made it a norm now to be like, oh gosh, I am ugly. Ah, I'm just a small YouTuber. But when we say these things often, they become a common phrase to us and begin to believe these things. And I tell you, words really do have an impact on your life. So please watch what you say. And most importantly, watch what you say to yourself. Compliment others. This makes you feel so much better about yourself. Sometimes I could just be walking down the street and I would smile at the person coming at the opposite direction towards me sometimes i'll see something i like and i'll just go tell the person oh i really like what you're wearing i really like how you look i like your hairstyle say kind and nice things to people i'm not saying go give fake compliments and say what you do not genuinely want to say don't give fake compliments but give real genuine comments it does make the other person feel better and it has a huge impact in the other person's life because they're probably insecure too it can make someone's day by being nice and saying something nice to them. you need to accept that you're different from everyone else no one is exactly the same it's so easy to compare yourself to other people try to understand that you're unique stop comparing yourself to others because you can never be like them it is not possible except maybe you want to go do plastic surgery but then that is even just to get their physical features what about what exactly they're made of all? try to get this into your head that you are created the way you are for a reason i know this can be very difficult sometimes because even as i am sometimes i ask myself why was i born in this country why am i here why was i born at this time but trust me, you are special. And being born here doesn't make me any different or less than any other person. Find a role model that radiates confidence. It builds your confidence. In this age and time, it is so difficult to not to look up to other people. And that is why a lot of people follow influencers and would do anything they say or would buy any product they just put out there. Some would even worship some of these influencers if they're cool. I also have people I look up to. I have people I admire. But just have to find someone who shares the struggle you have and who is really confident and inspires you and then you should know that your role model doesn't really have to be someone popular or even be an influencer just choose someone who inspires you and can help you radiate the joy love and confidence they radiate make it till you make it yeah this is actually the truth this is something you can actually do if you don't have confidence you can actually just act it fake it no one knows it's fake you can just walk into a room, shoulders high, head up, and talk like a boss. Being confident is so attractive. It's what people would see, and they would think you're actually a very confident person. So just act it and fake it till you make it. Other people's opinions are in fact. Oftentimes, you get so confused about what is an opinion and what is fact. So many people have said things to me. They're like, oh, you don't have a very girly voice, whatever that means. Oh, you don't have a girly structure. You don't have hips. You have a small bum. You are fat. And sometimes these things can actually tug at your heart and then you begin to think about it. But you have to know that these are just opinions. Don't let people's opinion rule your life and how you live and how you see yourself. Whatever you do, they will always say something. So don't allow what they will say define your life. As this is not the final say and people would always have 
what to talk about. Surround yourself with secure people. People around you definitely in one way or another influence you. And if all your friends are insecure, you will definitely start to act like and think like them. Also, social media pages you follow actually have an impact on your life. There are pages and accounts that just talk bad about women, talk bad about men. They cancel marriages and talk about how relationships don't work. Feed good things into your soul. Don't take what people do or say as final. The fact that it is not working for this person or this other person's relationship failed or something happened to this person or this person did this should not make you think everyone is bad. What you just think is what you attract. I actually believe in the law of attraction and it's very very important to watch what you think, watch what you say because all of this affects what happens to you. So be very careful the pages you follow, be very careful what you watch online, be very careful what you watch and read online. Some of these things are just there to mess with your mind and you take it in so much you begin to believe and think this is how things are supposed to be. So please surround yourself with people and things that are actually secure and i am not saying i actually have my life 100 percent perfect i am not saying i don't have insecurities of course i do have but these are just things that help me and i am still building my self-confidence so guys if you want to see more videos like these about self-love and building your confidence and being a boss babe please drop me a comment of your videos suggestion and ideas and also share this video to people who you think actually need to be their self-confidence or are struggling with self-confidence or want to be confident make sure to give this video a thumbs up and do subscribe if you've not i'll see you guys in my next one bye